Object Properties Docker by default is on the right hand side of the screen. There are two tabs, a fill tab and an outline tab. The type or fill or outline can be changed through object properties as well as the parameters of the stitch. Object properties will be empty unless an object is selected. The fill tab includes every type of stitch that can be applied to a filled object while the outline tab includes those types of stitches that can be applied to an outline. Object properties can be used to change a cutwork design to a painted design or a crystal work design as long as you are working with the draw file, which is the native file format of DesignWorks. If I choose this circle, I can go to the Fill tab and change it into an applique design by clicking on applique. I can change it into a painted fill by clicking on fill and I can change it into a crystal fill by clicking on crystals. I can then change the properties of that particular type of design. If I have an object selected and I cannot click on a tab, for example, I cannot click and select the outline tab, that means there is no outline. If I can't click on the fill tab, that means there is no fill. To add an outline, you have to click on the upper left part of a color chip. If I click on the upper left section of a color chip in the brushes palette, I will add a painted outline to the design. If I click in the upper left corner of the threads palette, I will add a running stitch to that design. I can select an outline design and if I cannot click on the fill tab, I can add a fill by clicking in the lower right corner of a color chip. If I click on the painted section, I will add a painted fill to the object. If I click on the in the threads palette, I will turn the design into an applique. Based on the type of fill you've added, you can adjust the density of the stitches choose the type of underlay, activate remove overlaps in this docker. We'll get into the details of this during the editing segment of the videos. The options displayed will depend on what type of design is selected on screen. The auto at the top of object properties will restore the object to its default parameters when it is checked. With outline stitches, you can change the basic type to a running stitch, a satin stitch, a painted line, cut work, or crystals. For running stitches, there are over 500 different types to choose from, and for satin stitch, there are almost 200 different types of embossed satin stitches. So I can select running, and then I can select a different type of stitch and the design is automatically updated to reflect that change. When working with an embroidery design, you will not be able to convert the design to crystals, paint, or cut work through object properties. If I select the design, you can see in object properties, I have a symbol that says raw. This represents embroidery stitches, and there's no other icon that appears in object properties. So I wouldn't be able to convert this embroidery design into cutwork crystals or paint through object properties.